Hello there. I didn't see you come in. As you can see, I've just received a Captain Fawcett order. Welcome back to Thomas's Mustache. It's been a little while, perhaps, what has it been, about a month or, or more since I've released a video, and uh, there's a very good reason for that. My filming room has been occupied for the entire time. I couldn't even find a minute to film anything. But today is the first opportunity that I am able to film, so I thought today I should do something special for you and go over my recent Captain Fawcett delivery. I ordered about a month ago, actually, and it came quite quickly, but I was not able to film an unboxing. But I kept uh, the things that I received, and I did not even open the mustache waxes. I've had them for a month, and I haven't even touched them. So I want to do a first impression video, of course. I like my first impression videos, so I'm saving them for that. But I thought today what we could go over is my recent order, as well as some things that I received in addition to my order. Uh, some goodies that Captain Fawcett has kindly thrown in, um, not because I have a YouTube channel or anything, because when I made orders before I had a YouTube channel, years before, um, Captain Fawcett was kind enough to give some extra bits and bobs to add to the experience. So we're going to go over those extra little touches that really bring the order together, that really sets an experience for you if you were to make in, uh, a purchase with Captain Fawcett. Now, what I show you here today, there is no guarantee that you would get anything because Captain Fawcett changes over time, what they may or may not wish to include in a delivery, um, in an order. So some of the things I've gotten, they might not do anymore. Uh, some of the things that I didn't get, maybe in the future they might do something new. So this is uh, just what I received and what you very likely may receive as well if you were to order at the same time. Uh, but it is from the, the generosity of the captain's heart, so um, it is not a guarantee that you'll receive anything more than you get, but um, Captain Fawcett is very special where they will sometimes give a little extra uh, thing, like a card or what have you, which if you could see from my introductory video, uh, Captain Fawcett does give a lot of interesting little cards and uh, what have you with the order. So we're going to go over what did I order and what extra came with the order. So buckle up and prepare yourselves for the video. Okay, first off let's start with the cards. Uh, this is quite the collection I have. Now I must tell you that not everything here came with my most recent order. Uh, I've kept many of the cards from previous orders. I've made a few orders um, with Captain Fawcett, so I've kept everything, and I must tell you, you're not going to get a stack of cards this big, I don't think. Uh, but this is some of the variety you might experience. Uh, in any single order, you may see some of these cards at least. Uh, number one, of course, this is a almost a guarantee, is the thank you card. Uh, thank you for your most esteemed purchase here. Uh, beautiful. It's got that beautiful type set on it. On the back, we have the pointing hand. I have two, as you can see. Uh, this one is a little more uh, yellowed in color. I'm not sure if that is just how they printed it or is that the light in, in my house touching it for a couple years. Uh, next up we've got this photo here. It is a photo of some bearded gentleman and some mustached gentleman sitting at the bar here. Um, at the uh, pub's bar, of course. 
and it just looks like a grand old time, of course. Uh, this here, let's see here, it is an invitation. So, on the back it tells you the directions to get to Captain Fawcett. Uh, Captain Fawcett's Emporium for a little visit if you're in the neighborhood. Uh, next up, this has got to be one of my favorites. It's just a picture of Captain Fawcett's head. Uh, I love that picture. It's my favorite picture of all. And on the back, of course, it is a postcard written to me, and maybe to you, too. Uh, next up here, we have, let's see here, Booze and Backy. That looks good, does it not? This is Ricky Hall. Um, and it is going over some of the products which may be included in the Ricky Hall lineup of products. Next up, we have Rufus Hound on a triumphant motorcycle. This is the advertisement for the Rufus Hound collection here. Uh, this is the triumphant collection, I should say. <laughs> Next up, this one's quite good. I have considered sending this to uh, somebody as a postcard. A beautiful picture of a golden man. That is just brilliant. This is the Million Dollar Beard Oil uh, advert here. So, absolutely beautiful. Next up, we have Nebula. This one is... I haven't tried this one yet, of course. That's on my list. Next up, we have Barbarism. I like this one with Sid Satung. This is a good one here. I like that. Th this one, I think, is from a while ago because it says coming soon. So, <laughs> I don't think you'll receive this one. I don't know. I forget which ones I actually received and which ones um, came a long time ago. But that just goes to show how long ago I've been ordering <laughs> Captain Fawcett for. Um, not that long, but a lot has happened in a few years. And here, I love this one. This is the, let's see here, Captain Fawcett's Barbershop Emporium here. This is absolutely beautiful. Look on the inside here. This is their museum here. They have a museum where you can find very historic artifacts from the shaving world. It is fantastic here. So it goes in some detail. Some things you might find. Wow, beautiful, right? So, if you're in the neighborhood, you should definitely pop in. And if I'm in the neighborhood, I should definitely pop in. Okay, next up, what, what we have here are some coasters. So, this one did come in a previous order, the uh, balloon here. Uh, I have, I think I, I got a couple with it, and I've used one very vigorously to the point where it is no longer with us, but I kept one just as a memory. And this order I have received this particular beer coaster or drink coaster, and I just love this one. It's my favorite. Captain Fawcett's head is just the most magnific magnificent thing uh, I can possibly imagine looking at. So. I don't use them too much. I'm saving them for a special occasion, of course, but I absolutely love these particular coasters. Uh, next up, this is a very special thing that you may receive. If they continue to do it, then you shall receive it. Uh, this is one of the big incentives, is the Fawcett Times here. So what have we got here? We have the newest edition of the Fawcett Times. This is absolutely beautiful, and we are continuing an artistic style on this one. Uh, this particular one is issue number six, and they release them seasonally, um, which is something. Now, I just missed the previous one by one day. When I made my order, they just rolled this one out. And I thought, oh, well, I might be one of the first people to receive this one. So I read it immediately. 
I will not show you the inside. Why will I not show you the inside? Because if you want to know what's inside of this, then you should put an order down so you can have a look inside. But uh, oftentimes Captain Fawcett will publish color photos. It's all color. Well, let me just double check. Yeah, it's all color. There's some black and white, but that's because it's an artistic expression. Um, to do some black and white, but most of it is color. Uh, this particular one, oftentimes there will be some interesting stories, some interesting observations in it, and you can see some of the more beautiful colored products um, that you may wish to acquire in the future. Okay, and now let's get into what did I actually order? <laughs> That's the big question, right? We've been doing this video for maybe nearly 10 minutes now, and I haven't answered the question yet. So what did I recently order from Captain Fawcett? Well, number one has got to be this beautiful teacup here. Um, I suppose I should call it a coffee mug, but... Um, I use it for tea mostly. Uh, let's see here. So I've got, you can get this done. It is, I'll need to, I'll put the price down. I I don't want to say the wrong number here, but I'm going to put the price down for each one of these. But this is a special cup because you can have your name inscribed into the cup. And you can choose the color of the banding around it. So this is absolutely beautiful. I had to have it, especially for my channel, because I'm growing, right? So this is absolutely foundational. I love this cup. I've used it already, of course. I, <laughs> I've, I've used it quite a bit, actually. But absolutely beautiful cup. And on the back, we have keeping a stiff, stiff upper lip regardless. Uh, this is just magnificent. Now, it I don't know, it might be an illusion to me, but I don't think it holds as much as my standard cup, but I have some big cups. I drink out of some big cups, so this is perfect for a cup of tea, definitely. You know, with tea, you should potentially be considering more than one cup a day anyway, so... Don't overdo it all in one go. So this is the perfect measurement for a cup of tea for me. Uh, so the beautiful cup there, I'll put the price down below. Next up, we have this beautiful little booklet, I suppose. But what is inside? A sample of some parfum. So this is the Maha Maharaja. I have difficulty with it, but the Mahar... <laughs> I am very sorry. The Maharaja um, parfum here. You can see what the full size looks like. It would look like that. Absolutely beautiful bottle. But I just got the, let's see here, two millimeters sample size. So you can pick up these sample sizes if you don't know how you'll like something. So I have received this one. It is absolutely uh, beautiful um, in all ways, uh, for sure. So this particular one is just beautiful. This, uh, let's see here, it's just what you need, I would say. But I'll be doing a review on it, and I'll tell you more about it, of course. But um, that is for another video. Uh, let's see here. Last up, we have what's in the bag. Now, you may receive one of these bags for each wax you get. Now, I bought two waxes, and I put them both in one bag. But um, you may receive a bag for each wax you buy. As long as Captain Fawcett is doing it, you may receive it. If they decide not to, then who knows? The future is changing, but for now, you perhaps will receive it. I wonder what's inside. Okay, inside the bag is the debonair and the Maharaja 
mustache wax. Now, I had the difficulty because I was thinking which fragrance would I like to try next? Of course, the other option was Nebula for me. I was rather interested in the Signature series, so I thought I can only get two out of three. So I went and I contacted Captain Fawcett and I asked them in great detail about the scents. I wanted to know about the scent without giving too much away, of course. I wanted them to just give me a little bit extra information. And I was told that debonair is much more of a subtle scent. It is quite gentle. And let's see here, Maharaja was more of a fragrant scent. It definitely appears so. Um, as I will go into when I do my first impression. So I thought, well, Nebula is probably also rather fragrant, so if I can only choose one. And I thought, you know, I just love this picture here of this gentleman sitting in his full royal regalia. And I just thought, if I could have just a giant picture of that framed for my house, I would certainly love to look at that often. But I thought that is a just a fantastic experience. So I thought I've got to try it. And it's, I'm not sure how it's going to be, but we are going to do a first impression video of one of these coming up very soon because now I am back to a filming schedule. So I certainly hope that we will be able to upload more frequently. Um, that is certainly going to be my mission for the coming months, is hopefully I can do some uploading. This year there's plenty going on, of course, but for the time being, I think I am going to be able to upload uh, more regularly. Um, one thing that I have noticed about these two is the tins are actually different. So the, uh, let's see here, the uh, Maharaja is actually a little bit shorter than the Debonair, and it has a texture on the outer cap. So it's shorter, but it also has a larger footprint, and it has a texture on the outer cap. Now I asked Captain Fawcett about that because I thought perhaps they're changing their tin style. But as far as I could gather, it appears like that is just temporary. Um, so I may have a collector's item here. Who knows? But anyway, uh, that is going to be my video. My, I suppose, a sort of belated unboxing, a belated uh, mail call, I suppose I could call it. But I hope you enjoyed my most recent acquisition here. Um, absolutely fantastic. I didn't get too much. Uh, I am on a bit of a budget, but also if you get everything now, then what are you going to buy when the newest edition of Fawcett Times comes out, right? So I want to make sure that when the next edition comes out, I'm going to have something in my mind that I want to buy. So that's the idea at least. I got a, a couple things today or not today, but a month ago. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video, and we will catch up very soon with a proper first impression. So, I'll have to say, toodaloo.